This is a series of videos featuring the hotels that we stay in when we're traveling. Now our budget is $15 each per day, and that's for absolutely everything, not just for accommodation. And we never book anything. Uh, a lot of the hotels that we stay at aren't on booking sites. They don't take credit cards, they don't take debit cards, cash only. Now these videos are in no particular order of our travels. So we're gonna show you what the room is like, and after a few days of staying there, we're gonna tell you at the end of the video what the stay was like. Another edition of Where We Stay and What We Pay. This is from Uruapan, and we're gonna do something a little bit different in this video. We're gonna feature two hotels instead of one. It's like a two for one deal. And we wanna do this because it's actually been quite a while since we released one of these videos. Yeah, the last time we put one of these videos out was back in April, and it's now November. Um, and aside from that, it's actually about a year ago since we stayed in these hotels. So we'll see how much we do actually remember. Yeah, so we loved Uruapan so much that one hotel wasn't enough. And, and you're going to hear me struggle with the pronunciation of Uruapan throughout this video. Right, so we're back in Aruapan in Michoacan, and uh, we've actually returned to a hotel that we stayed at back in 2013, and that is the Posada Morelos, but we've stepped it up. Uh, back then in 2013, we had a room with a shared bathroom, and it was a little cheaper. I can't remember what we paid, but uh, we've opted for a uh, private bathroom, um, just because it makes more sense as we get older, I guess. It's basically because we've gotten older and when you're getting up to pee two and three times a night, it's kind of nice to have your bathroom right there, <laughs> as opposed to the shared bathroom. So so yeah, we've, we've kind of upped the ante and uh, we've, we've paid a little bit more for a room with a private bathroom. Yeah, so this is 400 pesos. That's what we paid for this room. That's uh, $20, that's $10 each. Um, more than we normally pay, but uh, uh, we were just happy to get a room. There's some really nice old details to this place. This, this whole hotel, as a matter of fact, and we'll give you a brief tour of that in a bit, but uh, these shutters that actually work, by the way. Yeah, I know. Nice old chunky wood shutters there. Same with the doors here. That's yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. And uh, an older TV, you know, some people might have a problem with that. I really don't care. I did run through the channels, plenty of channels, but the channel down button doesn't work. Go figure. That's all right. No worries. That's a nice touch. A uh, small little table and some chairs, especially if you want to try to get some work done in the room. Um, it's, it's pretty nice. Yeah. A bed for two, but, uh, you know, three chairs in case you've got some company, I guess. And a little, you know, a couple sticks of furniture here. There's a bedside table and a little wardrobe there, which is nice. So. Bed seems fairly comfortable, firm, but comfortable. We just realized we forgot to do a tour of the bathroom. So, yeah. wow, they're punching above their weight class here. 400 pesos and you get your own little bottle of bespoken, uh, Shampoo and soap, which we've already used. Look at that nice fresh roll of TP. Sealed toilet, nice. Uh, the shower is a little bit close to the sink, but um, we've had this before where the shower is too close to the toilet and you wind up, uh, you know, the toilet is just soaking wet by the time you're done taking a shower. So unfortunately there's no curtain here. Uh, and there's no lip here, which is kind of common. I think we, it, it, when it comes to that, you just hope that the floor slopes down this way enough. Um, in our experience, we found that uh, when this is the case and there's no lip to contain the water from the shower, we've often found that uh, in many cases, this is the most level floor in the whole room. <laughs> so the water doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't drain. Uh, uh, it, it doesn't drain the way it should, but uh, they've done this too, which is kind of nice. Usually the hot water is right here and the cold water is right here, but they've got things switched around. Um, it's not that often you find hot water on the right side and cold on the left. And they've done that here in the sink as well. They've, they've uh, marked it off and it seems like they've kind of switched things around, hot, cold. The tour of the bathroom. 
So this is just right outside of our room. I remember sitting on this bench back in 2013 because I don't think our wi the, the Wi-Fi signal reached all the way in the back where we had our, uh, um, right back here, we had our uh, room with a shared bathroom. Uh, the signal just didn't reach. So I remember sending emails from, from that bench right there. And again, just behind that bench, you can just see like, just really nice old windows, nice old double doors on the rooms. It's, um, it's just a lovely old place. And um, here's a here's a couple more uh, rooms down here. Another bench and reception area down there. It's a pretty nice view, just straight across there. All right. Well. Yeah. So yeah, this is a very comfortable place. Let's take a look back here. I'll show which you the is, older which room. Which is why we came back. It's <laughs> because it is. We kind of knew what to expect, so it just seemed like a good idea to come back. So that's where we stayed uh, back in 2013. We were both, we were both actually dealing with some kind of virus at the time. We were yeah. both sick. Yeah, we were in room 12. <laughs> and then we had a shared bathroom on top of that. But uh, uh, um, it would have been nice to have our own bathroom then. But uh, uh, there was nobody else staying here at the time. So the bathroom was ours. It was just across the hallway. Whereas you know now we're stepping up the game and we've got our own, <laughs> we've got our own private bathroom now. Like old times, huh, Fiona? <laughs> yeah, so Fiona just checked out the shared bathroom right there, and uh, we both have fond memories of spending some time in there. Oh, the memories come flooding back for me, <laughs> hugging the toilet bowl in there. It was delightful. So the Posada Morelos. Just uh, one or two blocks away from the square in Aruapan. Not bad. Okay, so the Posada Morelos in Uruapan. And um, I just want to remind you that uh, after we review this hotel, the Posada Morelos, we're going to have another hotel. And we're going to review that um, also in Uruapan. So, okay, what do we remember about this place? We remember that we really liked the Posada Morales um, because we stayed there in 2013. So obviously we liked it because we came back in 2021. Yep. And uh, speaking of coming back, there was um, there was a staff member there that uh, was there in 2013 who was still working there. And, 2022 Jaime Jaime actually we don't even know if he's he might be the owner he might be the manager he might be we we've no idea who he is um but we do know that he was there in 2013 and he was there again last year yeah. when we were there so so that was lovely to see him again he's, very, um, very friendly man yeah really sweet yeah. really kind really helpful um actually all the staff are there yeah. um it's thanks to one of the ladies that worked there that we found out about this new park that's in Aruapan called Parque Lineal Cupititio, um, which is this lovely little small park right in the center of town. And it was, yeah, it was a lady that worked at the Posada Morales that told yeah. us about that. And I just want to relate a funny story about Jaime. Remember, he was like, he seemed surprised that we remembered him because mm. he, he says he has a very forgettable face. <laughs> you don't, Jaime, you yeah. don't. <laughs> so he was a character. So, yeah, he was very sweet. So the staff was great. Um, the hotel overall, yeah, it was it was a wonderful place to stay. Um, we got mm. a room with a private bathroom this time, uh, kind of stepping it up from 2013, I yep. think, as we mentioned. Um, it was comfortable, quiet. Uh, the room was a little dark, wasn't it? A little bit dark. There is a window in it, um, but it does have those heavy wooden shutters, which we, we, we either showed you or we we're about to show you. Um, very quiet, incredibly quiet incredibly clean spotlessly clean um beds a wee bit firm but you know grand it um, was there's no heater in the room no even though we were there in november but there's loads of blankets and if you need more blankets um you just pop down to the front desk and they give you extra blankets I'm not too sure about a fan i don't I remember, remember either maybe maybe we've got a ceiling fan from our little walk around in there maybe you can see a ceiling fan I don't know. Um, one thing I want to mention about the bathroom. Well, first of all, there was hot water. There was piping Scalding hot water. Scalding hot water. Yep. All day long. Perfect. There, there was a weird quirk about the bathroom. Um, not only was there no lip on the shower or shower curtain, but 
there was this kind of afterthought roof. Uh, you could see it in the video right here, this kind of pitched roof that was added onto the bathroom. When you took a shower, the condensation from the hot water gathered on on the uh, the ceiling of this bathroom, and it ran down in such a way that it kind of spilled all over the floor outside of the bathroom. It just kind of dripped off of the corrugated plastic roof. Um, that, that was odd. That whole thing was kind of poorly thought out and executed. The doorway. Um... There was always somebody on the front desk, which was good because there kind of needed to be. There was a wee gate um, that you had to ring a bell to get in. And then to get out, that gate was always locked. You needed a member of staff to open the gate. So getting in and getting out, it's not that it was problematic because there was always somebody on the front desk. Um, but just, you know, just something to be aware of. Um, it's very secure. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, some people call that security. Security. Uh, was there parking there? We don't know. Um, we don't have a car and I have looked up in reviews and I've gotten two conflicting theories back. Yes, there is parking and no, there isn't parking. So we really don't know if there actually is parking. So it's a 50-50 chance. Yeah. Uh, there was certainly no parking lot next to the hotel. There was no parking lot behind it. There might have been a few spaces out front designated for guests. I don't know. So. It is a brilliant location. Um, you're just a few blocks away from the main central square. Um, yeah, fantastic mm -hmm. location. Yeah. Uh, Wi-Fi. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Wi-Fi? Uh, the Wi-Fi was great. I, I didn't take any speed, do any speed tests for upload or download. I remember that both upload and download were quite impressive. It's a flamethrower, kick-ass Wi-Fi. Definitely. Uh, 400 pesos. Yep. Uh, we mentioned that, I believe. So that's about $20. $10 each, a little bit more than we normally pay, but, um, yeah, definitely. uh, you know, we, we, uh, knew of the place we wanted to go back to. We knew of the first place to go back to once we got to Uruapan and, um, we opted for a room with the private bathroom and we were okay. Uh, you know, once we looked around in the room, we just figured it was a pretty good deal for $10 each. So, um, even though that was a bit of a splurge for us. So, and it was lovely to be back. That's right. Okay, so we've moved on from the Posada Morelos in Aruapan. Aru and um, we've done that only because we found a hotel that was 100 pesos cheaper. It's not a lot of money in the short term, but for us traveling long term on our budget, it is. And I, I kind of learned a lesson with this place. Um, Online, looking around on Google Maps, I stayed away from this place because it said Eco Hotel, and that's the name of the place, and it's located right on the square. So uh, I figured right away that this meant it was going to be an it was going to be a hotel that was well out of our price range, but it isn't. We got two beds here, a TV, um, a bathroom with a shower that actually has a lip on it, which means the floor is not going to flood. Um, uh, a nice little table right here with a chair and a bench, perfect for, for just putting our stuff on. And um, great Wi-Fi for 300 pesos. That's 100 pesos less than what we paid at the Morelos. So that's our little mascot for today. That's Molly the cat. And uh, she's a little sweetheart, isn't she? She's the cutest little thing ever. Okay, so wrap up and review of the Eco Hotel. And I'm going to ask you to start this one, please. Okay, um, I actually really liked the Eco Hotel. Um, we did only spend one night there. And you'll find out why fairly soon. Jerry will fill you in on why it was only one night. Um, I think we had slight reservations about the name. Because, you know, Eco sounds a bit hip and swanky so mm -hmm. yeah. we, we we sort of thought you know the price might be really high um and we were pleasantly surprised that it wasn't because yeah. it was 300 yeah um so that was about 15 about 15 quid um i liked it it was the, the the bathroom was lovely and bright it was piping hot water um there was a table there were some chairs two beds um it's a pretty big place definitely really good value for money but yeah, uh, I will. Uh, I agree with you. Excellent value. Uh, there was good Wi-Fi there as well. We never turned the TV on. 
It was a spacious room, everything she said. The bathroom was bright. The actual room itself was a little bit dank. There was no window um, within the room, so it was a little bit, um, uh, just a little bit dark in there. Uh, the reason why we fled after one night um, was all on me. And I'll put it out there right now. I'm not exactly uh, paranoid of bed bugs, but I am hyper aware of the fact that <laughs> There's, there's always a possibility that bed bugs can be around. And there were, unfortunately, at this hotel. Um, and let's just put it this way. I feel better when bed bugs aren't around me. So we had to get out of there the next day. Um, <laughs> having said that, I didn't get bitten. Uh, we were in bed, and um, I think I was just uh, hyper aware of the fact that this room was as dank as it was, and there were a few crawling around on the bed, but they never bit me because I got out of bed before they had a chance, and I just stayed up <laughs> the rest of the night. And uh, you're not as concerned about this matter as I am, so uh, we left. <laughs> that's it. So that's the that's the only strike against it. I know for certain we would have stayed there for the remainder of our time in Uruapan had there not been bed bugs so and it wasn't there was just like two of them it wasn't bad at all it was just enough to you know give me pause well you are mildly paranoid about bed bugs no, anyway. i'm just hyper aware of them mildly paranoid <laughs> um yeah they they i just stayed in bed with them they were fine <laughs> they didn't come near me um you were keeping a close watch over everything yeah. so you just watched as they kind of just walked around me. <laughs> and while we're talking about this, I will say that, you know, all the traveling that we have done, all the hotels that we have stayed in, it is extremely rare. Bed bugs have been an extremely rare thing for us, which I'm amazed by, you know, just considering some of the places that we've stayed at in the past. Yeah. Um, very rare. And I was quite surprised. Uh, I was just surprised and shocked and, you know, dismayed <laughs> to see them. So that was it. So that was our one night at the Eco Hotel. <laughs> and there was another strange thing about this place too. Go on. <laughs> oh right, yeah. It also operated as a laundromat. Now obviously they washed their own towels and sheets and whatnot, but it was an actual laundromat where you could just walk in off the street and drop off your laundry and come back and it'd be all nice and clean. So um, yeah, so it was a hotel slash laundromat. Yeah, and um, I think they were doing like, uh, it just seemed like there was a lot of linens being washed, like the tablecloths and stuff like that for maybe some restaurants and stuff like that around the square. So that was kind of interesting. Never um, never stayed at a place that doubled as a laundromat. So Yeah, always the first. <laughs> anyway, uh, we went right back to the Posada Morelos, and uh, they were quite happy to see us, and we were happy to see them. So I was anyway, so... <laughs> That's it. I guess that's, that's all I have to say about the Eco Hotel. Yep, two hotels in a row, huh? 